What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of the Black Ops 3 Gun Guide. This is a series where I go through all the weapons in the game, breaking them down in three minutes or less, giving you guys only the most important stats, tips, and recommended class setups to help you guys do better in Black Ops 3. Now today, we are going to be taking a look at the king of the close range gunfight, the Vesper SMG. Baby, this thing is an absolute monster from close to medium range. And it's definitely one of the better weapons in the game. Now, starting off here with the iron sights, as you guys can see, they're actually pretty good. They're super clear, not much blocking your view. There's really no need to run any type of optical attachment on this weapon, especially because you want to be close to medium range. You don't need to be trying to pick people off at long range. So uh, save those uh, critical class points for other you know areas of your setup. Uh, as for the damage, this thing does 30 damage up close from 0 to 10 meters. That's actually like super, super up close. That's like almost shotgun range. It does 22 damage from 10 to 25 meters. And and then 19 damage from any distance beyond that. Now, uh, that's going to make this thing a 4 to 6 shot kill technically, but typically most ranges you're going to end up with the 5 to 6 shot kill. The 4 shot kill range, like I said, is essentially like shotgun range, so you can't really count on that all that much. Now, uh, talking about the rate of fire, this is where this thing really, really shines. 1200 RPM, which is the fastest SMG and I believe the fastest gun in the game. This thing absolutely burns through bullets, which is both a good and a bad thing. It's good because it kills people very, very quickly when you get your shots on target, but it's bad because it also burns through ammo. And, uh, you know, sometimes like scavenger and extended mags can become necessary. Now, uh, next up, talking about the recoil, this is where this gun struggles a little bit. So you guys can see in the slider, it's actually pretty bad. And judging by this recoil plot, you guys can see it is all over the place. You guys can see it kicks up into the right, up into the left, straight up all over the place. It's very, very hard to control, and that's the reason why this thing has to be used in close to medium range. If you're trying to fire across the map at long range, it's just not worth it anymore. Use it close to medium range, put yourself in close range engagements, and that's where you're gonna have success with this thing. Now, uh, moving on, magazine size really isn't that great for how fast it shoots. 30 rounds, 42 rounds with extended mags. I definitely recommend running extended mags anytime you can. And then for the reload speed, two seconds or 2.5 seconds, depending on whether or not you have ammo left in your magazine. Now, uh, as for recommended setups for this weapon, like I've said before, there's really no reason to run any sort of optic. So, you know, save your point there. Uh, as for actual attachments, quick draw is very good because in close quarter situations, you're going to want to be able to get your gun up very quickly and put shots on target. So it's pretty good for that. Grip is also good if you you want to try to push more for medium range engagements you know it helps out with that recoil a little bit but like i said typically try to keep this as close as possible a uh, stock is also pretty good in this weapon because if you're in close quarters going around corners stuff like that you can kind of pre-aim and be aiming down sight and moving quickly and then finally last but not least probably my most recommended attachment on this weapon is that extended mag so you can have more bullets to take out enemies so uh, yeah there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching the vesper is a lot of fun to use in this game i highly recommend it uh, let me know how it works for you guys and uh, let me know which gun you guys want to see in the next episode of the black ops 3 gun guide catch you guys later peace out